Senator Dr. Rasha Kelej and creator of our Africa TV show. All Africa will be part of our show. The CEO of Mac Foundation. We want to support girls' education. Not to infiltrate stigma, yes to girls' education. We want to stop gender-based violence for stop. Number of child marriage will double by 2050. Hello world, hello Africa. Welcome to the hottest brand new show called Our Africa. My name is Brian Mulondo from Uganda, and I'm not just a Ugandan, but I'm also African. And also joining me is the other coolest African, Senator Dr. Rasha Kelej from Egypt. Yes, 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 from Egypt. And nice. And she is the first African woman to be Mac Foundation CEO, one of the world's most important foundations who has kept her, the efforts going for the last 10 years. Now guess what? Dr. Rasha Kelej is the brain behind the Mac More Than a Mother campaign, a rallying call against female infertility stigma for which she was recognized one of the most influential Africans of 2019, 2020, and 20. <laughs> 21. Wow, that's Brian, uh, enough quite about something. me. Enough about me. Now let us. <laughs> <laughs> Does this humble you? It's humble. Let's talk about our program at the moment. Nice. Talk to us about our the campaign. Our Africa, as you said, yeah. is the coolest TV show yeah. in Africa at the moment. Why? We are going to raise awareness yeah. in our communities yeah. through art and fashion. Mm -hmm. We'll start with fashion. Mm -hmm. Be why? Because we believe fashion can be a critical partner to create a culture shift, to Absolutely. be the voice of the voice, Absolutely. to be to break the silence of many issues around the community. Yeah. It's not only fashion, it's fashion with purpose. Yeah. We want to create this community of fashion designers and fashion with purpose right. from across all Africa. Yeah. It's not only across Uganda, Africa, that's big. not only Kenya, uh -huh. not only Ghana, uh -huh. but also all. Malawi, Burundi, Nigeria, Leon, Nigeria Chad, uh, Chad um, Zambia. Zambia, Zimbabwe, uh -huh. uh, Sierra Leone, Liberia, wow. Burundi, the Gambia. The Gambia, of course, Whoa. my favorite. And, <laughs> and, and Egypt. And, and Egypt. Egypt, of course. This yeah. is, of course. You <laughs> will participate, show us your designs, tell us what you're creating, and something that is creating purpose in your communities. We want to hear about it, we want to hear your story. But, uh, Russia, you have also 21st ladies. Yes. Behind this, yes. who are these first ladies? You know, they are very dear to me. They are uh -huh. like sisters. They are very, very enthusiastic about this campaign. And uh -huh. they are ambassadors of More Than a Mother campaign. Yeah. Yeah. Because all this is under a very important campaign saying that women are more than mothers. Absolutely. Also, men are more than fathers. Absolutely. So, uh, like, now we have the fashion uh, uh, awards, uh, which can also be in, uh, in partnership with all these first ladies, mm -hmm. but also a lot a lot of initiatives that we are running to break the stigma of infertility and empower uh, girls in education mm -hmm. and empower women in general. So, First Lady of Angola, First mm. Lady of Botswana, First Lady of Burundi, First Lady of Central African Republic, Congo, uh, uh, Kinshasa, Gambia, uh, Ghana, Liberia, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, uh, uh, Zambia and Zimbabwe. Right. So all these first ladies are behind uh, the um, success of more than a mother. Mm -hmm. But Brian, you know, mm -hmm. we are not only going to focus on breaking the stigma of infertility. What else we are going to focus on? We are going to make sure that also, because to build strong communities, you need to educate first. And we're going to focus on educating the girl child. We're going to make sure that we tackle issues on gender-based violence so we can and, protect and, communities. And, and, and also stop child marriage, uh -huh. gentle mutation, and uh, raise awareness about different topics like infertility prevention. 
because uh, you know infertility mm. you know brian infertility can be prevented almost 85 percent of the of the infertility in africa caused oh. by inf uh, infection and this is can be prevented. yes so you know it's, it's a very high incidence of infertility in yeah, africa yeah. more than europe it's almost one every four couples are infertile so That's it's very a high, huge number. but 85% of this almost, yeah. Yeah, according to the latest uh, studies in uh, 2017, 85% are due to infection. And most of us think it's the woman's fault. Exactly, and it's not the woman's fault yeah. because it is 50% men, 50% women is equally uh, sharing so the shared. responsibility. Yeah. Scientifically, yeah. infertility caused by men and women right so they are both should support their uh, wives uh, <laughs> during the journey of building a healthy uh, happy family right. and go to the doctor together and see who is the cause you know we will talk about this in our fashion nice through the fashion nice. we will going to wear the talk uh -huh. so all the women and men we will be wearing the messages that saying fertility is a shared responsibility yes no to infertility Not just, stigma yeah. Uh, it takes a man or woman to have a child. Nice. Men too can be infertile. Oh. You, and you will wear this one. I, I, but not Men too can be infertile. As so long can, as it's not pink. Yeah, no, no, it's not pink. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely going to be shaking some tables, but at the end of the day, we want to bring the change to African communities, through? to your communities, through fashion, art. through art, and entertainment. So join us. Our social media platforms are below and start participating. Let's now meet our fashion designers, Augustina and Kezia from Ghana. And they are not only fashion designers, mm. they are also the winners of Merck Foundation More Than a Mother Fashion Award 2019. Nice. I met them in Ghana. Uh -huh. We worked on a fashion show and we've done great, great work. Let us see now what they're going to introduce to us to raise awareness about uh -huh. the stigma of infertility and male infertility nice. and breaking the stigma and all this. All right. Augustine, yes. welcome to our Africa TV show. Thank and you. Uh, since 2019, I did not see you. Yes. And I want you now to explain to us how you will do your designs to have all the messages about breaking the stigma on fertility. Similar to the one you had on our fashion show after your award winner, uh, winning. I liked it very, very much. I want to show you, you also what I liked. So you can uh, see. You see these messages about yes. breaking the stigma of infertility and raising awareness about male infertility and all this. How you will insert these messages uh, into uh, your designs and your crea creations? I'm, I'm really looking forward to see how. Okay. Um, my designs are going to be very vibrant and bold, everyday wear. Mm -hmm. Yes, for illustrative both. like you did. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Great. For both the male and then the female with vibrant colors. Right. Very bold with the inscriptions. So it can I mean you can open a dialogue and everyone will see will say, Wow, how this yes. what is this? You and see then, the design yeah. and then you know what it's about. Great. Know, with, yes. And I loved what you made and I wish Thank that you, you can make something really uh, awesome. Yes, for me. I will. I will. Yeah. So uh, I will also show you my designs. I have okay. also designed. <laughs> she it's very out. So it's great. I, uh, let us let us have uh, this, and I also want to say that we will have also uh, a, a show mm. uh, that um, uh, like a t TV reportage mm. to showing what we have done in Uganda for African women, yeah. and how they uh, we empower them through uh, projects and small businesses so they can be independent and happier. Yeah. And uh, I would like to take the audience to, to watch that and then we come back to our next designer. I feel grateful and honored to be part of the joy and happiness of these amazing women. Women who suffered all their lives from the stigma of infertility. I am glad that the efforts of Merck More Than a Mother paid off. Now these women are independent, stronger, and getting the respect and the support they deserve from the community.
fantastic. You can catch more of those videos on our YouTube channel, on Facebook, on Twitter, and of course, Russia College, and see the things that have been happening. But next time, I'm going to join you. Yes, you will. Yeah? You next will. time, I'm going to. Just after Corona. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, Kezia, tell us about your work. What are you going to show us? Thank you. So I'm going to create bold pieces to uh -huh. make a statement and I'm also going to make sure that there are going to be writings on the outfits that communicate the message. Uh -huh. For example, infertility is a shared responsibility. Uh -huh. Say no to infertility stigma. Uh -huh. More than a mother, more than a father. So that people can know that you shouldn't blame just one person. It's a shared responsibility. You don't blame anyone. It's just a shared responsibility <laughs> and it is something conditioned, can mm -hmm. be treated, can be prevented, yes. and uh, something really easy to manage. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to see your uh, Thank you, they're going to be amazing. And, I'll show you also and you can create for me? Yes, oh. for men as well. You yeah. have for men But as well? mostly, mostly it's women. But yes. you can have some for Brian. Something Do something for Brian. Because for they me. cannot just be like this, yeah. left out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can also have uh, something else. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go to the workshop and see Before what... Before the workshop, we have a break. Oh, we do? We okay. Have info break. Okay. And in the break, we're going to take a look at a, a song that was created by yours truly. Yes. Uh, in partnership with <laughs> and Adina. And the two singers, Adina uh -huh. and Kwezi uh -huh. from Ghana. And the song called Superwoman. Yes. And it is about also empowering uh, women with infertility and how they can have their career and their, their um, life independently, yeah. whether they're mothers or not, should be respected in the community and they are really independent yeah. and uh, productive members in the nice. community whether they are children have children or not yeah. whether they are mothers or not yes those super women yes take a look <laughs> 